Welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana and today we are decorating for Christmas. I don't know if you guys ever get in that mood where you're just like, you need Christmas right now. But for me, it usually falls right before I'm done doing school stuff. Like not quite done, still a few major assignments to hand in, but you're just super in the Christmas mood. And that's me today. So we are going to be pulling out last year's Christmas decorations, which all fit in this bag somehow. And I'm gonna put all of them up. I need to run to Walmart and get some new decorations. And most importantly, we need to get a tree. I don't know if this is like, global or just in Canada or even just where I live but we're having a bit of a Christmas tree shortage right now so I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to get one but that is my top priority because I don't think it's gonna be Christmas without a Christmas tree in my room but anyway you guys I'll show you what we're starting with and then we'll get to decorating so here's my room pretty much devoid of Christmas my bed doesn't get much more Christmassy anyway but this is our big bag of Christmas decorations I have my bedside table which is not very Christmassy obviously but has a little Santa mug on it my desk, which is somehow pretty clean right now, not Christmassy at all, except I do have my Lint advent calendar. And then the rest of my room has nothing Christmassy really at all. But it's now, before we leave, I just wanna show you a quick outfit of the day. My whole outfit actually is Shein. These jeans are Shein. And this cute cardigan tube top moment is also from Shein. All right, so I've decided I actually wanna go get the Christmas tree first just to get that out of the way. So let's just run over to Christmas tree place and grab that right now. This is also from Shein, but you guys knew that. We've arrived at the Christmas tree place. It's super close to my house. Only a minute to get here. I'm gonna head in, pick out a tree. I'm probably not gonna like, you know, vlog it because I don't know. I don't like vlogging in public. But I'm gonna pick out a little tree. I should have said that earlier. I don't want like a full eight foot tree. I don't want it to touch my ceiling. I only want like maximum four feet. I don't know what last year's tree was. I feel like it was a little small, something maybe a little bigger than last year, but not super big. But yeah, I'm gonna try to grab that. Probably they're gonna deliver it to my house because I don't know if it's gonna fit in my car. And then we're gonna head to Walmart. These are the bigger trees and they're kind of ugly. So I'm looking at these cute little ones. I honestly think this is probably where I'm gonna get mine from. They're the same size as last year, but whatever. The tree has been secured and there's just enough room in the trunk for it. So now I'm at Walmart. Um, I kind of summarized the whole Christmas tree thing while I was there. I ended up getting a smaller Christmas tree than I expected. So, so I actually don't have any reason to be at Walmart. I had come here originally because I thought I was gonna need more ornaments for a bigger tree, but honestly, I, I really don't need them. But that being said, last year there were a lot of cute decorations I regretted not getting from Walmart, especially when I found out that it was less expensive at Walmart than the dollar store. So we're gonna go in anyway and just take a little look around. I can't take you guys with me because both the dollar store and Walmart have really annoying policies to do with filming in the store. But I'll show you guys if I do get anything when I get home. Okay, I'm back in the car now. That was kind of a success, kind of not a success. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean when I do a quick little haul of these things. But for now, I have some time to kill. I'm gonna make a mobile order for Starbucks. Go pick that up and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. Okay, let's play a game where you try to guess what Starbucks drink and treat I got. If you watched my Starbucks video, this should be very, very easy. If you haven't, you've got a lot to choose from, so it's gonna be hard. But I'm giving you three seconds. Pause the video if you need to. Do it down in the comments. Comment what you think I got as my drink and what you think I got as my treat. Okay. Three, two, one. If you guessed a peppermint mocha, you were right. And if you guessed a snowman cookie, you were right. Quick little reiteration, if you're someone who wants to get a peppermint mocha like the way I like it, which is like the good way, you need to get a half sweet and with almond or soy milk. That's really what makes the difference. If you get it with almond, you can definitely taste the difference. Soy, you can't. It genuinely just tastes like the regular latte, but I don't know. So it makes me feel kind of sick, so I don't tend to get that that much. Okay, now a quick little Walmart haul. So first off, we need to talk about ornaments. I did not need more ornaments. Did I buy more ornaments? Yes. So basically last year, I went to the dollar store, I got these ugly gold ornaments, and I was like, Okay, these are the ornaments for this year. I spent like a lot on them, probably like $10. I think I got two packs, they're like $5 each, which was kind of annoying. Then I went to Walmart the next day and for $9, they had this massive bucket with 26 ornaments that fit exactly the theme of my room. My theme is all like grays and pinks. And I got all these golds and I was kind of mad last year because I didn't have the pack that matched my room better. And last year I got there, they had like a lot of options and I did not buy this. And then this year I went and this is the last pack of ornaments in the entire store. And I was like, you know what? That's proof I'm meant to have these ornaments. But did I need more ornaments? No, because I got a small tree this year. So that's kind of a waste. But that being said, I'm gonna find some way to use these. I'm gonna make it look really cute. So whether they end up on the tree or I use them for something else, these ornaments will get used. I didn't get a lot aside from that, but I did get some small decor stuff. I really wanted to get a cute sign to put up, but all the signs they had, you had to like stick into the ground or something. I didn't really have any way to hang them up. So I got this like, what's supposed to be an ornament, but I'm gonna use as a sign. It just says happy holidays. Cause you know, we're inclusive here on this channel. I celebrate Christmas, but you might not. So I don't know, I figured I'd get this anyway. It kind of has like a rustic theme to it. I'm just gonna probably take off the tag and then just put it somewhere as a sign, like in front of a candle or something. It doesn't need to be hung up. So I'm not gonna hang it on my little itty bitty tree. And then lastly, I got kind of like a make your own decor. I saw this cute um, bowl, which I wanted anyways a decor piece, but 
I decided I would get and kind of make Christmassy. So I also got, these are really cheap, like a dollar or something each. Um, I got these two little holly and poinsettia. They're fake, obviously. And I'm going to put in it, put it like this. I'm going to find a place for it. I'm thinking either my desk or my bedside table, but you never know because I kind of need to look at what I already have and then decide what I want to do for decor this year. It's kind of stupid, but whenever I buy things, I'm thinking about where I live next. Like, I don't want to buy nice ornaments that cost more than $26 for $9 because when I move out, I want to get a nice set of ornaments to put on my nice tree. Like, I don't want to waste money now not knowing what my theme's going to be. I highly doubt the theme of my living room in my next house is going to be pinks and grays. So, I don't know. I'm not... I'm not married to any one theme, which is why I just keep buying these random things that are kind of cheap, which I know I shouldn't, but I keep doing. I also want to get a stocking, but I didn't want to just get one stocking because I move out, I'm probably going to move out with someone, you know what I mean? So I didn't want to just get one for me and then not have a matching one, so I, I didn't really want to get one at this point anyway. But yeah, I'm just waiting to pick up my sister from school right now, so I'm just going to enjoy my Starbucks, look at my cute ornaments. I don't know what the light's going to be like when we get home. I know you guys probably genuinely don't care when I film if there's good lighting or not, but I do. When I'm editing it back and there isn't good lighting, I just look at it and I'm like, ooh, that's disgusting. Like, why would I ever film at that time of the day? So I don't know. I'll probably keep going when I get home, but I'm not going to be happy about it. Also, you know how it is when you like wrap up your tree? And you bring it home and you have to let it like settle for a while before you put ornaments on it or lights or garland or whatever I don't know I have to wait probably a little bit after I bring my tree out to put everything on it and that's my favorite part so I I kind of want to get started today but I also kind of want to wait for tomorrow so that I can put ornaments on it when it looks its best but we'll figure out what to do it hasn't been wrapped up for so long so I'm hoping it's not a big deal let's try this cookie so this is my first one this year yeah I like sugar on the bottom I don't remember that being there before but it looks really good So truth be told, I'm kind of regretting not doing vlogmas. Did I have time for vlogmas? No. Can I even keep up with what I'm doing right now? No. So realistically, vlogmas was like never in the picture for me. So it's not like I decided last minute not to do it, but I just regret it because everyone's doing vlogmas, making at least fun videos. They're decorating, they're making cookies, they're vlogging their day. And like, I'm still in school, so it's kind of hard for me to do that, but I just, I don't know, I'm kind of sad I didn't do it. I feel like there'll be one year when I'll try to do vlogmas and it's just gonna be a very intense, insane event and probably end horribly. But I just want to try it at one point. Anyway, I think my sister's almost ready to leave school, so I'm going to turn you guys off. I can on you guys when I get home, and we'll see if I'm going to do any more decorating today. All right, you guys, I'm home. I have all the decorations with me, and most importantly, my tree. First thing first, I'm going to try to set that up. I don't know if you guys watched last year's video, but it was impossible to get the tree standing up because it has such a small base as compared to my Christmas tree stand. So I'm going to start with that, and then we will let the decorating begin. <laughs> Alrighty, so as you guys just saw, the tree is now up. We're gonna do all the other little decorating pieces and then I'll come back into the tree lash just because I want the branches to settle a little bit. A lot of them are from last year. I have these ornaments. We've talked a lot today about how I do not love those. Um, this sign, which I actually do really like, uh, obviously these for the ornaments. I'm gonna use those on the new ones. This is like a garland with like poinsettia and <laughs> fake cranberries on it. She's crazy. Um, and then this is stuff for the tree. Like this is like lights, last year's ornaments, and some garland. And there's this like little fake wreath. So just like last year, I'm going to put this up in place of this sign. Put this garland up here. I didn't really have anywhere to hang it this year and I think it just looks kind of cute casually draped there. And then just like a little staging area over here, you guys know from my um, posts about studying over here, I like to have like a little area of decor, but then mostly school stuff on my desk. So I decided with the container with the sprigs in here and then the little sign is out in front. And that's all I'm going to do over here. But I do have my advent calendar. So there is like a little spice of Christmas over here. We decided with the tree in front of the window this year, which so far I like because I can still leave my little corner B. But the issue is I don't have anywhere to plug this tree in anywhere nearby. So one time I found some extension cords and now I'm gonna put the lights in the tree before we get started with the ornaments to figure out if it's actually feasible to keep the tree here or if we're gonna have to put it back into the corner. I 
after a lot of work, I actually think the garland and the lights look good now. Since we're using different ornaments this year, we need to go through and put the little hooks on all of them, which should take a second. So we're just gonna take a brief intermission to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, there's glitter everywhere, but this has been a success. These now all have the little hooks on them and it's time to start putting them on the tray. I don't think I wanna use these plain white ones. I think that's kind of boring, but we'll see. Okay, so round one of ornaments, I think looks really good. The Tegan thing is you should put some more ornaments on and I'm not opposed to it. So we're gonna put hooks on little ones too. All right, I think that is all we're gonna put on for ornaments. We just added on these little silver ones. I think it looks really good. And last but not least, putting on the Christmas star. I don't really know what happened to this since last year, some of the paint came off, but whatever, it still looks cute. And there it is, the Christmas tree in all of its glory. Alrighty guys, well that is everything for this year. I don't know why I always put off decorating my room. I just don't feel Christmassy until a certain point and then it's like Christmas attacks me. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below other videos you want to see coming up on Christmas. I don't have a lot of Christmassy videos planned, so I would definitely really appreciate some ideas. I had so much fun doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys soon.